star delta conversion. Most of the students are having difficulty, but now in pi square style, I mean in just 10 seconds, just 10 seconds, you'll be able to convert star to delta and delta to star. Yes, in 10 seconds without remembering any formula. Okay, in the simplest possible way, let's see. So first, uh, let me take a delta connection. Okay, I have this delta. So whenever you see a delta, R1, R2, R3, some values are there. So whenever you see delta, the first step you should do is mark the three points of the delta. Mark the three points of the delta. That's the first step. And immediately we know delta is a closed connection. Means they're appearing like they're in series, right? If you just look at the delta, okay? Just feel. So immediately you write sum of all the resistances, add them all, close the connection, so add them all. R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now, third step is construct the star between these three marked points, not anywhere else, just between these three marked points, construct the star along with this line. This line is the division line, division line, okay? Now in the denominator, you keep sigma r, sigma r, sigma r in the denominator. Means what are the sigma r value you have here? That sigma r in the denominator. Now, coming to the numerator, numerator part, this element is in touch with these two elements, these two black resistances. Take the product of that, R1, R2. Now this resistance is in touch with these two resistances. See here, this resistance, these two resistances in touch. So take that product, R1, R2 here. Sorry, this is R1, R3, okay. Coming to this, this resistance is in touch with these two resistances. So product of these two, R2, R3. There you go. That's the formula. You have not remember the formula. You applied a logic. I'll give you a tip also to apply this logic. Nothing to worry. Stay connected. I mean, difficulty in this? How simple is this? Now comes the other one. What's the other one? Star to delta. Star to delta. Let's do it. Star to delta. Suppose if I have a star, I have a star connection. Now I wanted to convert into delta connection. First step, mark the three points. Identify and mark the three points of the star connection. Okay. This is the neutral point. I'm not talking about this. The other three points. And then find sigma pi r because these values are given r1 r2 r3 these values are given sigma r here sigma pi r here what is the sigma pi r sigma means a sum pi means product sigma pi both are there sum of products simply means sigma pi r is equal to r1 r2 plus R2, R3 plus R3, R1. That's it. Now the third step. Third step is between these three points, construct the delta. Construct the delta between these three marked points. That's it. Now, along with this line, this line is division line. Okay, this line is a division line. Now in the numerator, keep sigma pi r, sigma pi r, sigma pi r in the numerator. And in the denominator, in this case, we have used touched elements product here, untouched elements. So for this red one, these two are in touch, R1, R3 in touch. 
this is not in touch. So keep R2 here. Now we can guess for this. Yes, this is not in touch, R1. For this, this is not in touch, R3. Bingo, bingo, that's it. That's how simple is star delta conversion. Let me just give it in few steps, simple steps to remember this process. Okay, nothing much, nothing, nothing beyond this. Just as simple as this. Now to keep it in simple steps, the first step is, the first step is, identify and mark three points. Beat this, beat this, see? The second step is, the second step is, find sigma r or maybe sigma pi r. Sigma r, if it is delta, sigma pi r if it is star given to you, okay? Next, third step, construct star or delta between those three marker points. The final step, touched, untouched, and numerator, denominator, fill them up. Numerator, denominator, fill them up. And here, again, no confusion here, dear. No confusion, what should be the numerator, what should be the denominator. See here, in the numerator, in the numerator, what is there, tell me? In the numerator, touched things are there in the numerator. Untouched things in the denominator. Okay. So touched things in the numerator means, how do you remember this? Tn, top notch. What is that? Top notch. Or Tamil Nadu. You remember anything? Any logic to remember that? Touched things in the numerator. UD, user defined, user defined function. I think in C language you must be using that. Python. Or whatever you do me, UD, you do me, whatever logic. Okay, so in the denominator untouched, in the denominator, U for untouched, D for denominator, T for touched, N for numerator, numerator touched products, that's it. Okay, so you're not remembering any formula, just you're writing this in 10 seconds whenever you see star and delta. Okay, that's end of this lecture.